If you want to hit the ball further, then you need to stop trying to pin your arms and stay so connected. I'm going to put the head cover under my trail arm here, which you see a lot of times as far as golf swing drill goes. If I was to try and throw this ball as decently hard as I can that way, but I was keeping this pinned in, I would only be able to get to about here. That's not much range of motion. There's certainly not much speed there or sequence. Likewise, if I try and hold my arm in to stop it getting behind me this way, if I'm so concerned of trying to keep my elbow in and down and I'm pinning it here, I'm going to try and throw the ball that way. That takes a lot of effort. Lastly, the towel under the arm drill. This can work quite well for chipping and pitching. It's not necessary, but it does start to move people in the right direction about not getting too flippy. But it doesn't work when we're trying to create speed and a bit of force that isn't too much effort. If I was to try and swing with this underneath my arms here, I can only go back so far before I start feeling real restriction. And from here, that doesn't feel like I can move anywhere near as quickly down towards the ball with as much sort of force applied to, you know, getting the arms back towards the ball if I am pinned in with the towel here. We can use these types of items to teach us the right movement. Yes, granted, you will see tour players using training aids, towels, things under the arms, trying to pin everything together and keep in front, but they can get away with it to a certain degree. A lot of them would actually benefit from freeing themselves up a little bit more, but 99% of you are not going to be able to move the way the top golfers do. They are hypermobile. They practice all day, every day. They know how to get the most out of their specific movement, but we need to make it easier for you and allowing things to open up a little bit more, feeling a bit more free like it is just a normal movement of throwing. You are going to see exceptional consistency and effortless distance. So let's just take the head cover under the arm, for example, okay? We've got the full swing launch monitor here. I'm going to try and do a full swing. It's certainly not going to be full full because it actually, well, you'll see why in a minute. But if I'm trying to make a full swing to get this as far as I can without being ridiculous, okay? What am I going to do to get back at the ball there? I have to rotate very hard. I have to manipulate my body to get back down at the ball to make that rotation as quickly as possible. That is hard work to do. I went 139, okay? That's a very short seven iron for me, but now we're gonna do the same thing. But what I'm gonna do is as I go back, I'm actually going to let the head cover drop to the ground. By doing that, I have suddenly given myself more leverage. I'm opening up the shoulders, the lats, so I can now pull them back down with force and deliver it back at the ball with a lot more speed because I've got a more range of motion. It's that elasticity. It's how our bodies are moved. They're meant to go up and down. I wouldn't kick a football with my feet and knees together, would I? You know, like trying to, trying to do this, that's quite difficult. Now, it doesn't mean that the feet together drill isn't a good one, but we're going for distance here, okay? If I was to kick a ball as far as I wanted, I would have range of motion. The hip would move out. It would increase its range of motion just to go back naturally, and then I would kick it through, okay? It's a very natural fluid movement. So if we took the arm, Okay, instead of keeping it pinned down here, if I actually felt like I was pushing this behind me, if I'm actually sort of pushing that behind me, I get a much bigger arc, more range of motion. I've opened up the shoulder, I've opened up the chest, I've opened up the lats so they can now be pulled down. I've got this leverage and it is so easy and natural, but you're just not tapping into it. So what I want you to do is take the head cover in this example, and we're actually going to take our backswing and let it drop to the floor. 
just with that smooth swing, I got more yards, more accuracy, and a better strike. And we'll get our friend the towel out again. Pin it under your arms, make your swing, and we're just trying to get it as far as possible, all right? That is hard work. It doesn't deliver the results I want. If I have the intention of stretching myself out and letting the towel drop to the floor, I have freedom. I have range of motion to be able to pull that club back down and deliver through impact. It's so much easier. Does this resonate with you? Let me know in the comments below. Grab a towel. Just see for yourself what it feels like to make a backswing keeping it in place, okay? That feels kind of restricted, doesn't it? But now we're going to make a backswing and just let those arms raise up, stretch that shoulder back, open yourself up and see how much more velocity you can generate. I really want you to unleash the athletic goal swing within you, even if you're well experienced in life, okay? You can and should have a fluid goal swing. And it's going to start from getting away from this concept of being connected, staying pinned, arms in front of the body. I want you to just make some movements to really feel this intention of getting open, getting the right side back. And if you think, oh, this is a, you know, a flying elbow or something, that's not accurate at all because this is a very natural movement. It's the most natural movement in the world. You would throw from up here. You're not going to throw from here. So why do we treat golf different to other sports? It makes no sense. Yes, I know, you throw with one hand and you're playing golf with two hands. You've got two hands on the club. So you're not gonna quite get as much range of motion as if you were just throwing a ball from up here because we have to sort of reach up. But I wager it's gonna be a lot more width, a lot more range, getting this back, opening up the chest here, letting the elbow go up just to feel a nice throwing position. When you do that, you bring your arm up and you will adapt. And that's exactly it. And from here, I tell you, that feels so powerful. I want you to test this out. You don't even have to hit shots. Get the towel underneath, hold the club, and I want you to make a backswing, but I want you to feel like you're opening up the chest, the shoulders, stretching out the lats a little bit. Okay, and see where the towel goes. The towel will drop to the floor. And then from there, you can swing through. And you'll notice by doing that, you have a lot more speed without even trying. I like to prescribe movements or drills that exaggerate certain things because I want you to go, aha, I'm barking up the wrong tree. Doing movements like this, that doesn't feel very powerful, does it? Trying to keep this in, does that feel artificial? Does that feel manipulated? Does that feel forced? If so, cut it out. So yes, you can use a head cover or a towel, but use it correctly where we're going to have the intention of feeling like we're stuck. Now we're going to let it go. Then we can swing through. Doing that alone is going to free up your golf swing more than you can possibly imagine. Use the training aids and towels and head covers correctly, like an athlete would. Thanks for watching. Now, if you want to really improve your sequence to be consistent, check this video out. I'll see you next time.